Hey there world, I'm the Courageous Goldfish and today we have a very special Christmas Bunny unboxing. I was so excited for this. This is my first bunny and my first quarter scale in my collection so I was just like dying to open it. I flip-flopped on my opinions on freeing bunnies in the past. I know they're really, really popular with the community, but I was just, I was a little bit more reserved about it. They're not really my cup of tea, and I'm also quite low on space, and so I didn't want to become a bunny collector, but there was something about this one, and I'll, I'll tell you the whole story. So if you wanna hear the story, here's the story. If you wanna skip ahead to the unboxing, here's the timestamp, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you because it was quite an ordeal to get this bunny in my hands. I'm really not a huge bunny person, like I said before, but for some reason, I just, I saw this one go up for pre-order, and there was something about it that I just like clicked and fell in love with. And the stupid part is, this is also the very first figure I ever have bought that I haven't seen the source material. At all. At all. Like I know I said that about my KDA Ari figure that I unboxed a couple months ago. I'm a fan of KDA. I like KDA. And so, you know, I've interacted at least a little bit with the source material. But the show that this bunny is from, I've seen zilch, zip, and like Nada. I have not seen a single episode of this show and so that is why I was like I can't buy this. Like I cannot buy this bunny. This is just gonna be stupid to buy a really expensive quarter scale bunny figure for a show I've never even watched. So I said we're gonna be smart. We can't do this. There's no way that we're doing this. This is not gonna happen. We're just you know like I've got really expensive pre-orders for January. Let's just let it be. And just, this is gonna be one of those things that you just have to like sigh and move on, you know? Cause this is just gonna be stupid if you buy this. So I didn't pre-order it. And then as I was finding myself falling more and more in love with this bunny, I thought to myself, okay, well, she's a bare leg. So the freeing bunnies, for anybody who is not aware, usually come with real fishnet tights on the legs. Uh, that is kind of the whole gimmick, so I'm told. Uh, and then they do re-releases of certain really popular characters without the tights. So just with like a bare plastic leg. And these are very polarizing in the community. I'm not here to argue tights or no tights. I think it really depends on the character. I'm also, you know, not super into the bunnies anyway, and so it didn't really bother me that she was bare leg, and I had heard that sometimes bare leg bunnies can go really down on the aftermarket almost immediately. So I was thinking to myself, okay, well, how long is the waiting game? Like, I wanna do this smartly. If I'm gonna do it, if I can pick her up for a good price, maybe I will. Slowly trying to like, gaslight myself into thinking that this is gonna be an okay purchase. Uh, and so I posted on my figure collection asking for opinions on like how to navigate the bunny market. And a lot of people commented that she was an exclusive and so she would likely not go down on the aftermarket and instead sell out almost immediately. And that stressed me out. And that's when I knew, I was like, I am just never gonna get away from this bunny. Like, I, I, I need this bunny. Again, gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss. I'm convincing myself it's gonna be fine, okay? So I said, okay, you know what? Like, I'll just, I haven't pre-ordered her. Pre-orders are closed everywhere. She's getting close to release. We'll just, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. She'll release. Maybe she'll go down, maybe she won't. If she goes down, I'll buy her. If she doesn't, I won't. That was my game plan. Here comes in the middle of November. She releases a little bit early and people are starting to get pictures of her. And she is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm actually glad that I waited to see some of the photos that people were posting of her because honestly, I've heard that freeing bunny quality can be a little bit hit or miss, especially with the bare leg re-releases. And so once I saw people were saying like, oh, her quality control is really good. She turned out really nicely. I was like, ah, oh. 
<sighs> okay, we'll get out the visa. And I was really, really fighting myself. I promise I was fighting myself to try to not buy this bunny. But uh, one night I got drunk with my boyfriend and I was just like, you know what? I'm only gonna live this one life. And if I can use the money that I earn to buy things that make me insanely happy, I might as well just do it. It'll be fine. It was more of a YOLO moment, which is a word I haven't said since 2013. Um, <laughs> and so I drunkenly ordered this bunny off Amazon Japan. She showed up at my doorstep like five days later and she, I, any semblance of regret that I thought I might have felt disappeared as soon as I opened her. She is beautiful in almost every single way and I just, I can't get over it. Listen, she might be my new favorite, which, listen, I know, I know, I say that about everything. I always get a new figure and I'm like, oh, this one's my new favorite. Oh, this one's my new favorite. I love them all, obviously, because I'm spending money on them because I love them. There are no words to quite describe how much I love this figure. And it's from a show I've never even seen. Like, she's just that fantastic in my opinion. And I just, sh gorgeous, fantastic. If you know anything about me and this channel, you know I have a little bit of an Urza problem. I pre-order pretty much every figure that goes up that's an Urza figure. And so, of course, I have the bare leg Urza bunny on pre-order as well. And I was expecting that one to be my first bunny because I was like, I, I'm nervous. I'm nervous about spending this much on figures because, you know, it's really, really expensive and I really, I want the figures I buy to be worth it. And so I was like, you know what? I'm really not a big bunny girl, but it's Urza, therefore I need it. And so I was like, I was, I was, I fully pre-ordered the Urza bunny thinking it would be the only one that I ever had in my collection. And now I guess I'm going to have two buddies. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have two buddies. It's just, it's just, it happened. Yes, I am gushing about this figure because she's gorgeous and I love her so much, but she just, she has a quality to her that I just don't find in the other bunnies. The other ones just don't do it for me. This one specifically does. I guess she's just my cup of tea. And so I really don't see myself becoming a bunny collector. A, because I don't have the space and B, because I really truly am quite frugal when it comes to figures. I should back that up. I'm frugal specifically when it comes to bunnies because I think that they're overpriced because they are. Like you you can say whatever it is that you want to say about freeing bunnies and the quality and the paintwork and all that kind of stuff. At the end of the day, it's not worth the price tag, especially with the recent price increases. It's just no, nothing, no figure should be worth that much in my opinion. And so there is that. However, am I going to absolutely love and cherish this one now that the money is gone out of my account? Absolutely I will. She's gorgeous and I don't regret it a single bit. However, I will not be making it a habit. And that is the story of how I got this gorgeous, gorgeous girl in my hands. You really, you can't comprehend how big a quarter scale is until you see one in real life. It's crazy experience. But without me yammering on and on and on forever about this gorgeous bunny figure, let's just get right into it. We'll unbox her and I'll show you all the nitty gritty details and we'll catch up in the outro. Here she is. Oh my God. I am so excited. I have never seen a quarter scale in real life. And so when this box showed up at my door, I was shocked. This is friggin' huge, uh, which I know for people who usually collect bunnies, they're like, oh, it's not that special. But this is my first bunny and I am so ready for the experience. This is fantastic. It's a corrugated cardboard. Uh, so it's a lot thicker of a cardboard than I usually see with any of the figures that I have bought personally. And so I'm already enjoying the premium luxe corrugated cardboard experience. Uh, but I cannot simply wait any longer to bust this girl open. This is the freeing B-style quarter scale Rindo Kobayashi bare leg bunny. 
and I actually can't believe that I have this in my possession. I told the story in the intro, I'm sure, but I'm just in awe, really. Like, come on, look at this box. I haven't even opened the figure yet and I already am like living for the experience. Excuse me, like this box? Uh? Gorgeous, uh, beautiful. Anyways, without further ado, let's get cracking. God, that is crazy. <sighs> Got some instructions in the bottom of the box, which are for putting the ears in. Uh, I've watched enough of these unboxings on YouTube that I should be able to do it without them, uh, hopefully. But on the inside, we do have this very cool tartan pattern. And oh my God, she is huge she is massive this is crazy I'm looking her over before I take her out of the blister just to make sure that there's not any like obvious flaws that I'd be really unhappy with um, because I did order her off of Amazon Japan and if I'm not mistaken I can return her potentially if she has defects I think. Do not quote me on that. I've never tried it and I could just be making that up, but she looks good. How do I... Okay, she's got like a whole bunch of stuff going on to secure her in here. Tape. Oh my god. Okay, so obviously, first of all, her base is friggin' massive, which makes sense because, you know, it's a quarter scale bunny. Nothing much to say about it other than that. It does have a really sturdy metal peg here on the bottom base, which I love to see. Um, standard bunny things, really. Like, I feel like I'm pointing out stuff that everybody already knows, but this is my first one, so I'm like super excited. Take off the plastic here that is keeping her in place. How heavy are you, ma'am? Take the plastic off her legs. Oh my god, she looks amazing. Can we just appreciate for a second? She's beautiful! Oh my god. Just looking her over for like flaws in the suit or anything that I'm unhappy with. And she looks pretty good, honestly. I mean, like, obviously I have like a few little tiny nitpicks, but uh, nothing too serious. She's gorgeous. Should I, what can I do? Should I put her on? So then we can like put her on here? Maybe, please? I'm like so scared, oh my god. Can't seem to quite get her all the way in there. Oh, I guess I should have, <laughs> I should have kept the box because now I have these like plastic pieces for her ears. The ears slot in super easily. I love that. Ear number one and ear number two. And she's finished. Oh my God. She's beautiful. Excuse me? Literally gorgeous. Oh my God, okay. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get some B-roll of this beautiful girl right here, but I am so impressed. Quarter scales are fantastic. This is a really, really dangerous rabbit hole to get down. Uh, no pun intended, <laughs> obviously. 
I don't want to keep sounding like a broken record, but this bunny figure is just so gorgeous, I have to keep saying it. Crudely, the body sculpt is just fantastic, and the shading on the skin is so well done and really brings life to her complexion in a way I've never seen with any of the other figures I have. It's the detailing on the stitching of her suit and the rich purple color of the gloss that really steals the show though. This midnight purple color is so dynamic and a really great choice for this bunny in my opinion. I was trying to show off the sculpting on the bunny tail here guys. This was not a cheap shot at taking more butt shots. She does look really good though. <laughs> She is not without her flaws though, unfortunately. There is a spot on her suit where the gloss is kind of wonky, but honestly, you have to get up so close to her to even notice, so I'm not mad about it. Unfortunately, her biggest flaw does come in with the hair, which I've heard is usually the downfall for freeing. They're not known for their hair sculpts, but I do have a little bit of bubbling on the strands of her front bangs and on the crown of her head in the back. Obviously, on a $400 figure, you don't want to see any paint flaws. I've received figures that are much less expensive that were technically completely flawless, and obviously I would have liked for that to be the case here as well. However, they are minor flaws overall, and like I've been saying this whole video, I just think she's so beautiful, and I find it hard to be too upset about any of it. Her expression is amazing, her pose is absolutely stunning, and I'm so, so excited to display her next to Urza when she comes in. Is she not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? Oh, I'm obsessed. There's just, there's something about it. There's something about this one specifically that is just like, oh my God. And again, need I remind you, never seen Food Wars. I've never seen this show. And now I guess I gotta, now I guess I gotta watch this show. Cause if I'm gonna have the money figure, you know, I don't know, maybe I give him a shot. Like, I can't stop looking at her. Every time I pick her up, I'm just like, oh my God. And she's sitting on the shelf over there by herself right now, because that's the only place that she fits. Because I got, I got my records on top of my Detolf, and there's really nowhere else I could put those. And so she's on the shelf over there by herself. And every time I'm looking over there, I'm like, looking for a little bit too long, if you know what I mean. But she, I just, Words don't describe how glad I am that I bit the bullet and picked this up. But that is all I have for you today for this very special Christmas bunny unboxing. I hope everybody has a happy holiday season and stays warm and safe. It is like 
polar vortex temperatures where I'm at right now. We're talking like minus 50 degrees Celsius. It's, it's very bad. So I'm just, I'm hoping everybody stays warm and safe this holiday season. And I guess I'll see you in the new year. I said that as if I'm gonna just like disappear. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be back in 2023. But anyways, thank you so, so much for watching and I will catch you on the flip side.